common belief that ginger mainly grows in central Uganda, especially in Butambara district. It's also believed that the more spacer farmers, has, the more yields will get. But Brenda Kelo, a farmer in Guru district, believes that these are mere perceptions that are changing. She says through an innovation of using peats and maize cobs, a group has discovered that farmers can get more yields. Uh, research shows that after planting ginger, maybe like in about three or maybe four acres of land, you actually do not realize a lot of it. A farmer can invest eight to ten bags of ginger from an acre of land. They can get the same or more bags using four by eight meter pits in growing ginger. People at times fear planting ginger because they always think it, it needs a very big piece of land. But with this kind of method, you don't have to actually worry about land. This method is suitable for people in urban setting who normally contend with the limited space. Akel explains that unlike in the traditional way of planting ginger, a pit is dug and chicken drippings are then mixed with maize cobs to serve as manure for the plant as it grows in the pit. But you have to ensure that you dig four, four feet deep. And uh, after digging that, you have to look for some bit of maize cobs that you first spread under your, your bed. And, uh, and uh, after that one, you also have to go and look for manure. Usually what is, what is actually best, it is for you to go and look for uh, chicken uh, waste that you always have to come and you cover up to about three quarters of your pit. A emphasizes that the soil in the pit has to be conducive. You have to go and look for um, loam soil, not any kind of black soil, because when we talk about black soil, you, you can actually go to any other uh, uh, um, or a water source and you dig around and you can get black soil. No, no gisimba. During the planting, spacing is very important. It's recommended that the plants must be one feet apart from each other. Uh, according to local farmers, this is what we always do. We always just use our, our fingers like this and you just measure with this. So you can put one around here, then you measure this one, then you go on to the next one, and also you actually do the same. You know, what you always do is after... The farmer then has to weed, and it's advisable not to use hose, but sticks during the weeding. That you always have to go and uh, dig around with your bed so that your garden does not have to cake. And that one also allows for good aeration to always be there in your in your bed. She adds that one doesn't need to worry about pests. Ginger doesn't have to be attacked by so many pests or maybe even diseases. So because of that, it is very, very easy. After eight months, the ginger is ready for harvest. A kilo of ginger goes for 5,000 to 6,000 shillings in guru markets. Imagine that 5,000 shillings times 800 kilograms you get about at least 3 million shillings. And that is very, very good um, money for any farmer within here to actually earn up to that much just within eight months. As a parting shot, Brenda Kero had a message for those who still undermine farming. So the best is that even if you actually think that farming isn't good, farming is actually going to take you to become a millionaire. American author Linus Pooling, who once said, the way to get good ideas is to get lots of ideas and throw bad ones away. That is the advice many farmers could work with. Ivan Chimurichigozi, NTV.